Okay, we have SAT math question. Okay, let's go to the information. If square root of three times x square negative six x negative twenty four equals to zero, what is the value of x square negative two times square root of three times x? Okay, so here we have a quadratic equation, and we have to find the value of this uh, expression that is x square negative two times square root of three times x. I think uh, it's a bit challenging to solve this quadratic equation because we have one irrational coefficient over here, and uh, get the value of x and plugging in the values of uh, x back into this uh, expression. Okay, let's compare the expression in the quadratic equation over here and the expression for which we have to find the value. So here we have x square, but here we have this x square is multiplied by square root of three. So if I get rid of the square root of three, the coefficient of x square, I think uh, I'll have a chance to get the value of this expression over here. Okay, now let me take this quadratic equation. Uh, that is square root of three times x square negative six times x uh, negative twenty four equals to zero. Okay, now my aim is to get rid of the leading question square root of three in this equation. For that, I have to divide each term uh, by square root of three. So let me divide each term by square root of three. So let me finish. Uh, so I have divided everything by square root of three. Is square root of three square root of three will cancel out. So I'm getting x square negative, and uh, this six can be written as uh, two times uh, three times x over square root of three, and also this twenty uh, fourth can be written as uh, eight times uh, three. Over uh, square root of three, and the right side when I divide zero by anything, it will still be zero. So when I divide zero by square root of three, it will still be uh, zero. So x square negative two times. So this uh, three can be written as uh, square root of three times square root of three times x over square root of three uh, negative eight times. This three can be written as uh, square root of three times uh, square root of three over square root of three. So because already we know that whenever we multiply uh, to square root of three, so this is equal to three. So instead of three, we can write uh, square root of three times square root of three over here. The same thing. Instead of this three, we can write uh, square root of three times square root of three. So the square root of three, square root of three can be cancelled, and the same thing over here. So then I'm getting x square negative two times square root of uh, three times x negative eight times uh, square root of three equals to zero. Okay. So my aim is to get the value of this expression x square negative two times square root of three x. Okay. Let me write the equation over here. X square negative two times square root of three times x. Negative eight times square root of three equals to zero. Since my aim is to get the value of this expression over here, so I'm adding eight times square root of three uh, on both sides. Let me do it. This negative value, positive value will cancel out. I'm getting x square negative two times square root of three uh, times x equals to eight times uh, square root of three on the right side. Because when I add zero and eight times square root of three, uh, it is eight times square root of three. Now I got the value of the expression x square negative two times square root of three times x. It's equal to eight times square root of three, and we find eight times square root of three in option D. So the correct answer as per this question is option D.